بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين الى يوم الدين اما بعد privacy is power what people don't know they can't ruin so keep in our lives private we protect ourselves and that is part of deen self preservation family preservation honor respect izzat preservation keep your personal life personal it is my personal life so it should be personal why are we allowing it to be public and promoting our private personal lives so privacy is not an option the fact that you accept to go on to the net on to these platforms shouldn't be the price you pay because a believer is wise in what they do the fact that somebody is extorting you using your life your information as a tool of exploitation should be a deterrent so privacy is very important for the people of iman we need to take it seriously the consequences are devastating and we need to tie the camel with regards to that so this whole mudhakara is showing the vulnerabilities and how we can compensate for that alama mawardi used to say with regards to secrets wa idharu rajuli sirra ghayrihi aqbahu min idharihi sirra nafsihi exposing the secret of others is worse than exposing divulging your own secret why because somebody else's secret is khiana it's breach of trust so they telling you something in confidence secondly is namima it is like carrying tales so again the mizaj of deen is preservation and protection so we need to make the effort this world this dunya is a war zone every second every split second we are at war whether it's with nafs whether it's with shaitan etc etc now if you allow people to take advantage of our vulnerabilities then we are at fault we should blame ourselves so yes the, the judgment day will be qiyama where real justice will be meted out sometimes we see it in this world like they say what goes around comes around or the word is come common now kama what goes around comes around it reminds us of an incident of a oriental man who was sitting in a restaurant in chinatown when a jew suddenly comes up to the bowl of fried rice over his head he screams that's for pearl harbor so the chinese man says but what are you doing and i'm chinese anyway we had nothing to do with pearl harbor so the jewish man says Chinese, Siamese, Japanese doesn't matter. You're all the same. So the Chinaman picked up a plate of soup and threw it over the Jew. And he said that's for sinking the Titanic. That's for sinking the Titanic. So the Jew screamed, but the Titanic was sunk by an iceberg. So he replied Goldberg, Greenberg, Iceberg doesn't make a difference. It's all the same. 
So what goes around comes around is not a rule always, but akhirah definitely, there will be justice. So if what goes around, we are ghafil, negligent, jahil, ignorant, it's going to come back, darul azbab, cause and effect. So as, as the people of Iman, we've made an ahad with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to stick to this ahad, to this promise, to this pledge, this vow, this, this assurance. وَأَوْفُوا بِأَهْدِي أُوْفِي بِأَهْدِكُمْ So cause and effect, you do what I told you to do, I'll do what I've, I've taken responsibility to do. So I've made promises, you've made promises, stick to your promise, you'll see. You'll see the guarantees fall in place. I'm ensuring you, so you stick to your promise. Have you done عِنْدَ ahdan? أَتَّخَذْتُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَهْدًا You made a transaction with Allah, Allah will fulfill His promise. Are you not fulfilling your promise? لَا يَنَالُ أَهْدِ الظَّالِمِينَ don't, don't supersede the elements, don't break. When you break, you'll be broken. وَمَنْ أَوْفَى بِأَهْدِهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ Allah is genuine. Allah is loyal. Prove your loyalty. أَمِ اتَّخَذَ عِنْدَ الرَّحْمَنِ عَهْدًا So this ahad, this promise, this allegiance, this commitment is important. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ أَهَدَ اللَّهِ So some people have, have, have made the ahad with Allah. But Allah, if that falls in place, then we will be genuine, we will be from amongst the salin. مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رِجَالِ صَدَقُوا مَا أَهَدُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ From amongst the believers, they are the genuine. They proved their loyalty, they proved their devotion, they proved their allegiance. Malina Ahmad Lat explains, there's only two Jamaats. مِنْهُمْ مِنْ قَضَى نَحْبَهُ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَنْتَذِيرُ Those that have fulfilled their promise and those that are waiting to comply. Waiting to comply. So these are ibrats and lessons for us. So part of that is that we've come onto this earth, we've made a deal with Allah and we need to comply by that. So privacy, privacy is part of deen. Moving on, a thing called 2FA which is two-factor authentication. So generally, uh, whether it's uh, internet banking, etc., they will send you an email for verification. That's your 2FA. So you log in, but a second form of verification, you do an online payment, a credit card, and they will send you a screen will come and via SMS, via email, via whatever options you choose, you have to put in a code. So any, any gadget, any form of of communication we're using and they give you the option of 2FA then activate it because this decreases the uh, headaches which you may have hacking possibilities as well. So 2FA generally which service providers provide more than that above that the person wants to use a hardware token so uh, you can get a UV key different types of hardware keys which you plug into your USB port and uh, without that plug-in, you will not be able to access that information. That's what they got to hardware. Then you get software tokens. So, um, Authy, which is a software-based 2FA, Authy.com, because it's, uh, it, it's, 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 it's a, a authentication system. So, use a hardware token if we can, add a software token as well. Then, all the information you are store, uh, storing, it gets in the wrong hands, it can be abused as well. So whether it's uh, in information on your hard drives, your, your, your USB drives, your 
storage, internal storage, your external storage, the information on your smartphones, they come with an encryption feature. So you can encrypt all that information. And if you want to specifically, so that is where you do a full disk encryption, the entire drive is, is preserved, protected. And uh, if you have a USB also, or other drives, then a person could encrypt it where now it is encrypted but to decrypt it you will need a password so if if there is some compromise nobody can access your files your data they cannot extract uh, any information so one option is is to use uh, a third party encryption as well like veracrypt so you download it, you install it, and then you, you execute the various commands to, to encrypt all your information. Then many people use web browsers, so we need to uh, be very careful and cautious for, for configuring our web browsers. We are going to different sites, so uh, you need to make sure that you have a secure web browser. So there's different opinions out there and what we're saying does not necessarily be followed. Do your own research, see what is appropriate. There are just some, uh, the little, but um, obviously there's experts there, go to the experts, there are people that this is their, their, their daily lives, uh, you know, a little bit experience, a little bit that we know, uh, some procedures which may help. So go with the Firefox web browser. Generally, Apple computers, phones come with Safari, Windows come with the Microsoft Edge. Uh, stay far from that. Try to install uh, Firefox. And uh, after you install it, because obviously it, it, it is anonymous and it doesn't store your data. It's not out there to extort you. It's been developed and engineered for that very purpose. But... Um, Important is after installing it, depending on what a person wants to do, but you can go in and execute certain modifications, apply certain rules. For example, in the menu, if you go into options or preferences in the general options, then um, recommend extensions as you browse, uncheck it. So this will prevent uh, your internet usage information been sent to Firefox or stored and uh, compromised. In the home option, you got home page and new windows. So change new tabs to blank page. This prevents Firefox from loading their own sites on new tabs. Then in your search options, so a default search engine, uh, go use DuckDuckGo because this uh, search engine, unlike Google, etc., which um, has compromised uh, a, a lot of a person's information. So Google, from, from every search that you've made ever in your life, is stored somewhere. So a person now needs to make sure that they, they not compromise that information. Is, so it's quite scary. Even um, Google trackers, Inside your searches have been found on 75% of uh, most of the websites. So they track everywhere you go on the internet, all your browsing history. So um, then if you're using any of the Google products, they will track you even more. So from your Google search to your videos that you're watching on YouTube to Android, if you're using an Android platform, to the Play Store, to every place you've been, you've got Google Location Services, to every app to use and what interaction you make with the app and your text messages. On Android, the text messages are not encrypted, unlike iOS. To your information, your photos, your your Gmail accounts, your email, if you synchronize in your calendar, then your calendar, your, your activities, your hangouts, your what you listen to. So all of this has been tracked and has been stored and been recorded. So uh, 
eventually you become a product because uh, that's how they generate money etc so your 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 profile is sold it is used it is abused it is exploited so uh, advertisers are looking for this information and they selling it here so we saying duck duck go is uh, trying to it, it it keeps everything there's nothing stored and uh, they, they 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 don't keep any tracking they don't keep your location they 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 don't, they don't monitor you etc etc so this is very important so in your settings whether you do it on your phone on your smartphone on your laptop etc then stay far away from your conventional browsers then uh, in your configuration settings as well in firefox you go with the privacy your security concerns you can do some of the changes there there's a lot of changes which uh, needs to be done where you change the settings up to uh, the true and false where you require for example uh, your location settings geo settings you can disable that put it false browser settings false so this uh, uh, even if Google does try to manage to get the information, they will not be able to monitor your, your web habits, your web uh, routines that are stored there. So all these settings, we, we, we need to apply it and um, Firefox considers privacy, security, and uh, the more person gets advanced, they, went, they would go in uh, even the browser extensions which is add-ons so uh, one one add-on to install is uBlock origins so this blocks ads it blocks tracking your scripts it blocks um, any attempt to run anything on a page uh, malicious codes location sharing your privacy your security so and it's it's uh, something practical it's very easy which a person can uh, install and apply which makes you even more um, discreet and uh, the risk of any malicious scripts um, so you could do that and if you want to add on even more security then local cdn which is an add-on as well which will complement your uBlock origin so uh, generally websites rely on third party content so uh, sometimes they can be tracking software whether it comes from google from microsoft uh, and we need to block all these codes block all this access so after you've done whatever you think so it's done then you need to check so a free service to see if your configuration is working use browserleaks.com there you can go and you can check and test the the different uh, possibilities of uh, anybody sharing your location your information whether it's blocked whether access is denied likewise dns configuration that is the the don domain names have an ip address and uh, People who in their homes or even in their businesses, your ISP, your internet service provider has detailed logs of your DNS queries. So they will know basically every website that you've gone to, doesn't matter what's the SSL encryption, but uh, it's connected to you. So you cannot uh, be on the internet anonymously. So all your ISP is collecting everything about you, even though you've got VPNs with etc but uh, securing your DNS is very important. So we said to have a firewall and then Cloudflare DNS service is, 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 is one service which we could use and uh, secure information with regards to our DNS. So privacy is important and, and, and we need to start applying the steps to, to make sure that uh, we uh, our life our our amana trust are not breached may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq of making amal protect one and all the amal for today is 
اقرب ما يكون العبد من ربه عز وجل وهو ساجد the closest a person is to his sustainer is in sajda prostration فاكثر الدعاء we should increase in dua prostration نبي ليش لما اسال اي الاعمال افضل which deeds are the best so he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied tulul qiyam ad riwayat tulul qunut standing for long periods so the ulama have mentioned that we've got a hadith of increasing in sajda and increasing in a standing posture so they've said in al afdal bin nahari kathratu sujood during the day we should increase excessively sujood wa bil layli and in the evening we should increase standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is man qul in the habits of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alayhi